Welcome back to the channel, everybody. How's everybody doing today? It is Sunday, it is cold, and I am feeling it in my fingertips. Today's gonna be a picking video. I have a few sales that are going out the door that need to be packed and ready for Monday. So let's not mess around. I've got to get on with it because my hands are turning blue. As you can see, we have a nice selection of things going out. A bit of packing to do. No idea how I'm going to pack the speakers and DVD player because I don't think I have any card, which may be a problem. I'm in that same scenario again. I haven't been and picked any up. I'll sort it. So I think we'll start with, let's start with this. I've had this for about a year now. This is a Cisco Classic Flip Mini video camera. It's nothing special. But they are, if they're working, they're very old pieces of kit. It's old technology, but they sell really well. This has barely been used, if at all. It hasn't even got a, it's still got the screen protector on, but it doesn't turn on. You plug it in, the light comes on, and that's it. This sold for £17.97, I think, or some weird number. I took it because I've had it for ages and it owes me next to nothing. Next up, we have this Playboy bag. It's a handbag. Fantastic little bit of kit. It um, owes me no more than a pound, maybe two pound maximum. Um, it's like this faux leather type thing with this lovely embroidered Playboy bunny running all the way through. It has these nice big brass effect clasps, um, which don't actually do anything other than the button. It's just a bit of decoration with some Diamante eyeballs. It's in very, very good condition. This sold for £20 plus postage. Very happy with that sale indeed. Playboy does sell. It's not just a tacky brand. Well, it is a tacky brand, but there's some bits that do sell. Then we have this Stussy cap. This owes me about a pound. It's brand new with tags. I say cap, it's actually a bucket hat. Some of you may remember a video of mine that I did relatively before the lockdown where I bought a ton of designer clothing, but a lot of it turned out to be fake. In fact, we still have some of it up here. I mean, this is all my fake bootleg stuff, which I really quite like. Um, I love all this sort of stuff and, and broken stuff. But this was in it. Um, this is a Balenciaga fleece. If this fleece was genuine, it's worth around about one and a half K. Uh, but yeah, this was in there. Owes me next to nothing now. Sold for £29 plus postage. Again, we've sold this one more time, but finally, I've listed this as spares or repairs. I've had backs and forwards, backs and forwards. I did list them both. Do you remember in my previous video, I believe it was, I listed them both. I actually had a message of somebody saying, please. I listed them both because somebody was wanted to buy them off me for $69.99 all in for the pair. Before we had a chance to, somebody sent me an offer and said, I'll give you £100 just for this one. So I took the listing down, created a separate listing for just this one alone and sold that for £100. Call me greedy. I call it good business. Better offer came along. I took it. Glad to see it go. I'm sick of it. Absolutely had enough of that one. I've got one more there as well. Absolutely had enough of that. Get rid. Get gone. See you later. Then we have another pair of Denon speakers. I told you there was some interest in these last time when I was struggling to pack the other ones. And these do have a small crack around the edge of the area, but I've managed to collect up the cracked pieces and put them in this very strange looking narcotic bag. But, um, yeah, the customer obviously knows about that. They will soon glue them back on, I'm sure, or something. Doesn't affect the sound quality. These owe me nothing now. They're part of a bundle that I would have bought from many moons ago. £50 plus a small piece of postage. I think it only got about £5 postage. They're obviously going to cost me a lot more than that. We have a toy in there. I can't get it out now, though, but I um, can't remember what it owes me. Sold it for £50. Right. Okay, then we have this PlayStation bag. Now, I know the guy who bought this off me is probably going to be watching and he's going to hate me, but I totally forgot that he bought it off me. He is, um, I believe he may watch my YouTube videos. He definitely, I've definitely, um, I'm in the same group as him on Facebook for something. Um, he reached out to me, said that I'd sent him an offer. He obviously knows my eBay store. I sent him an offer out. He messaged me telling me that I'd sent him an offer. I wanted to know if these little mottled bits was, was from chewing, but obviously it's not. It's just the way the bag has creased and gone weird over time. He sent me an offer. Sent, uh, so he basically, cut a long story short, he paid £13 for it. 
which I'm very happy to do. I think this cost me about four or five pound. I paid up for that one. But I really, really liked it. It's like an over shoulder bag, uh, like a record bag, they call it. I actually had this exact one, probably not this one. Well, it could have been this one. I had this bag when I was at school. So um, I picked it up mainly for the purpose of nostalgia. But I'm very happy to see that one, that one out the door because a sale is a sale. So Mark, if you're watching, thank you very much, dude. I really do appreciate it. You're a legend. So I've actually had to hang up from the boys on a group chat to um, make this video. So let's see if I can jump back in. Oh my God. So I spent most of my time packing all this while I was chatting to Sam who smells stuff. And the other lads kept dropping in and out every now and then, which was nice. So we have here going out 100, 150, 2, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 293. About 300 pounds worth of stuff going out, which would owe me... Um, Nothing, nothing, 25, 35, nothing, about 40 pound. So 40 pounds worth of outlay into 300 pound. I'm very happy with that. Now I was gonna do a little bit extra on this video, but it seems like my day has been cut short. There's a little bit of drama going on um, at home. So I need to cut this video short, I'm afraid. But um, yeah. It really is just a matter of look what I sold today, which is quite boring. I wanted to show you some of the bits, but I've got to go, I'm afraid. Um, right, waffle time. Don't forget tonight, um, James Collects channel was always 9pm. We are going to have the Sunday waffle. Me, John, James and Kieran. We will be waffling, choppling, smiffling and smoffling and stuff. Who knows? But thank you ever so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. As always, you are all fantastic, wonderful, beautiful and amazing. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>